Hi everybody, happy Marchintosh. Today I'm gonna to be showing you a quick and easy way to get started with 68K Mac emulation with Basilisk 2. So if you do a Google search for the Basilisk 2 page, it's gonna bring you here, but uh, if you want a pre-compiled binary for Windows, other platforms, you're gonna to wanna to go down here to this Emaculation Forms link. Click on that, click on the first topic, Basilisk 2 for Windows and then download this zip file. Okay, so once you get that going, uh, you unzip it on your desktop, and this is what you see. Uh, now, I like to add two folders to this uh, folder. I like to add a ROM folder and a disk folder, and this helps us find these things easily in the GUI. And in our ROM folder, I'm going to drag this Quadra 630 ROM over. You can rip this out of a Quadra, or you can do a search on the Internet Archive if that's easier for you. Uh, then on the same thing, I'm going to, in the disk folder, I'm going to drag and drop this uh, image, this ISO file of Mac OS 8, also, also obtainable at the Internet Archive. And now we are ready to run the uh, Basilisk 2 GUI program. And of course, that's basilisk2gui.exe out of the folder. Now we're going to add a volume, and that volume is going to be our ISO file. Then we need to create a hard disk image to write the install to. So we're going to make a 500 meg hard drive, and I'm just going to call this HD. I'm going to hit OK. Now, one thing you have to make sure of, go over here in your disk file, right click on the ISO, click on properties, and make sure that this file is read only, okay? It won't work unless you click on this box, okay? So make sure you've done that. All right, now we're gonna go back to the GUI and we're gonna go through all of the options that we need to set up. So we wanna make sure that enable JIT compiler is unchecked. In memory, we wanna set 64 megs of RAM. We wanna change the uh, Mac model ID to a Quadra. We want to change the CPU type to 040, and then we want to go in here to our ROM directory and add that ROM. Okay, don't need to change any other things except for the graphics and the sound. You're going to want a refresh rate of 60 hertz. Make your window size whatever you want. I like 640 by 480. Back to the volumes. I like to disable the CD-ROM driver on the rare chance that I put a CD in my uh, my computer and the, the Mac emulator wants to recognize it, so I just click on that. Everything else looks good. We do want to enable my computer to uh, so we can do easy file transfer, so make sure that that is checked. And now hit start. As you can see, uh, Mac OS is loading up. And it's going to ask us, what shall we name our hard drive? I'm just going to call it HD. And then we're going to initialize that, continue. And here we have our desktop. Now, what you might notice is that, see these CDs in the background? That means that we're currently running uh, this off the CD or the ISO file that the computer thinks is a CD. So we need to actually install Mac OS 8 on our hard disk. So double click on install Mac OS 8. Continue. That's our only destination disk. Select, continue, continue. And I wouldn't bother with any of this other stuff right now. Just these things are okay. So hit start. And it's going to take a while for this to happen. So I'm going to speed things up a little bit here through the magic of video editing. Right, the installation process has finished so we can hit quit and now we need to shut down our Mac and restart it just from the hard drive so we are going to shut down and now let's go back to our GUI and now we don't need to uh, include this anymore this uh, this disk image so we can remove that and then start it back up And as you can see here, we have a fully functional Mac OS 8.1 install. This is the last um, Mac OS that can run on a 68K Mac. 
Um, and from here, the world is your oyster. Now, um, this if, if, if this is all you're concerned with, you can stop watching now. But uh, I did want to tell you about how you can start to load some games from the uh, Macintosh Garden, uh, that wonderful games repository. Uh, if you try to navigate to a disk image through your PC, uh, it is not going to work. Uh, what you actually have to do is you have to shut down the Mac again. And uh, then I'm going to drag this uh, this disk image here. We'll just grab this OIDS disk and drag it into our disk folder and the Basilisk install. And then we're going to add it. Again, putting it in this folder makes it easy to find. And now when we start our emulated Mac, Our disk image is right here, okay? So this is as, just as if you were to put a disk into your Mac's disk drive, you're, you're mounting that volume. Now, uh, if you try and launch some older games, uh, what you might run into is this error. Uh, OIDs cannot run with anything but two or 16 colors. Okay, please go to the monitor control panel device. So um, to get to that, Okay, if you go to your uh, control panels, it's up here on the Apple menu. And then if you look for monitor, you see monitors and sound here, you can easily select 16 colors and go back. And there you go, you're running OIDs. So uh, I hope this video has been useful to you. Uh, I think that Mac emulation is super cool and uh, everybody should do it. It's not nearly as difficult as you might be led to believe. Uh, if you have any other questions or if you have any, uh, I highly recommend this site, emaculation.com. Uh, I basically follow the tutorial on this site to get set up, um, but I know that some people would rather watch it in video form. So um, anyway, uh, I hope to see you around. And if you have any comments or questions, please let me know in the comments. Uh, happy Marchintosh once again, and I will see you next time.